Hello fellow YouTubers, Failure here and welcome to the 12th stage of this year's Tour of France. It's gonna be from Canucks to Louis Adiden and it's gonna be the first real test for the GC competitors. I think it's gonna be I think that it's gonna be for the top of the GC. It's gonna be the it's gonna be up for the first five guys. It's pretty hard to predict this stage because it could end with a breakaway getting so much time that they have enough time to win on Louis Adiden, but Either way, I think Contador, Slag and Evans has to compete against the others. This stage is really hard to predict who's gonna win because it's the first test so I really don't know who got the leg and who doesn't. But I think that rider like Andy Slag, Cattle Evans and Alberto Contador and maybe Frank Slag is gonna compete for the first place in this stage. And I can't really decide who to choose because Andy Slag has been out of problems the whole first week of this year's Tour de France, but he hasn't shown that much in the stages where Alberto Contador tagged. And then we see from Contador's uh, viewpoint, he has been down and up constantly, like he's been attacking on the Super Best stage and another stage, I can't remember what his name, but there he showed great, great acceleration, but the other could follow him, but they couldn't at counter attack. And then we have Kettle Evans. Who have won the stage in front of Contador, but it was only because Contador did all the work for him. So I'm, I can't can't decide who to bet on, but I bet it on Cattle Evans because I think that Cattle Evans, he's just his moral boost is so big. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's like he, he's never had such a good team before behind him. So I think that he really wants to show them that he can win a Tour de France. So if I were bet, if I were you, it was it was going to be on either one of these three guys. Hello fellow YouTubers, Failure Tier, and this is, oh I forgot again, this is the second time I have to say this, hello fellow YouTubers, Failure Tier, and yeah, I couldn't wait to play this stage, so I kind of did this bef uh, before I did the who I think is going to win, but I can say it now anyway, Evans, Slick, or Contador, because they all need to attack, so I said it now, and you probably heard it in the intro as well, but yeah, sorry about the fail yesterday, where I lost with your board and Nicky Sinatron, yes, shit happens, you know, but yeah, I'm going into the stage now. See you in the stage, and I'm happy as f oh voice crack. Ardiden, the first two thirds of the race offer a gentle approach towards the mountains, and then it's a succession of free climbs: the Urquet d'Alzizan, the formidable Tour Malais, and finally the 15 kilometers up to Luz Ardiden, which average out at over seven percent. The protagonists for the climber's jersey will be at the fore, but none of the pretenders for the yellow jersey will want to have an off day. That's true, but I actually think that the ride in the real Tour Franks, that the ride up of Col uh, Col du Tourmalet is going to be way harder than up, as up, at, up at Louis Adidin, because this is the first ever, not first ever, first mountain on this year's Tour Franks, and it's going to be one of the hardest. It's actually bad that it didn't start with uh, Alpes, that could be fun. Yeah, but I lost two of my riders. <laughs> it's quite embarrassing, to be honest, but... So, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna come back when a breakaway is, a go is away. So it seems like a breakaway is now away, but we are really far into the, into the stage before the breakaway is actually away because there's been lots of attacks and Leo Patrick wasn't glad for any of them, so they have caught ev every single one of them. And Rio Alberto Costa is actually in a breakaway and he won in the real life on Super Biz in a breakaway. That's actually neat. If he wins in this stage, that's, that would be fun. And Chutu, the last year's King of the Mountain jerseys winner, he's in attack too. Maybe he's in for the uh, mountain points. And on... Oh, Losley is trying to attack too, and he's on the middle hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back with the intermediate sprint. It's gonna be fun to watch if any one of the favorites maybe attack on these two clients. But if I know Pro Cycle Manta right, they won't. I've said Jesus and Anders Blaskuris to observative, uh, observative uh, Andy Schleg and at this moment it doesn't seem too good because Andy Schleg has 3 plus in the day and that's actually pretty good because all his stats get 3 plus and that is pretty much compared to, uh, to Alberto Contador having like around 1 or one, 1 minus 1 plus or 0. So it's not seem it's not looking too good for, uh, for Alberto Contador today but everything can happen in, su in such a stage. <laughs> We've now hit the bottom of the first mountain of this year's Tour de France, and it's actually on a bit. This climb features some oh. dreadful percentages. Chris Angus Hansen actually going in the front. That's neat to see. He's taking in. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is the are doing back there? Oh, last boom is there. Contador, you're just keeping an eye on leg, please. Do not go further behind. Because I don't want to risk anything. Oh, Danny paid. As long as I can see Slag, it's good. Because he won't attack, but I won't lose time on something stupid. 
And I think that I'm gonna let Van Bo get a break on this mountain and let him just fall back in the Gruppetto and take like Jesus Hernandez to con uh, protect Contador because we need some good mountain riders to protect and Van Bo isn't... I don't want, I don't want to call him a mountain rider at all. <laughs> so now you're, you're side by side by Andy Slick. <laughs> Sorry for this taking quite long, but yeah. Maybe I'll come back with the last two kilometers, but that it seems like nothing is happening. And I can better concentrate when I'm not talking to. That's really a punchy attack. Now some of the kinda favorites, you can't call them favorites, but like Peter Village and Jeremy Koppel is attacking from the Peloton, but I don't think they can go anywhere from the uh, of this, but at least they're trying and I kinda appreciate that because either if if no one was trying, it would be a kind of a lame stage to be honest, because it would just be like you you're driving over mountains with 15 kilometers an hour, and the and then now we hit the last kilom uh, the last mountain. Now I can ride with like 50 kilometers an hour, <laughs> but that will never happen because if you ride. Oh, there's an attack from inside the breakaway group. This climb is feared by many riders. The percentages are very high. So it seems like Jill Julian El Ferreras is gonna win the mountain sprint in this group in front of Chaturu. The Spanish and French names are actually pretty hard to pronounce. <laughs> Why couldn't it all be like Danish names? They're like Hansen, Jensen. It's like, y you can go right into it and not think about it. It's like, in Denmark, the most common names is like the most easiest ever. And now Vanbo is kind of dying slowly on me. <laughs> Thanks for your work today, Vanbo. <laughs> what are you doing about? Oh my god, Contador, you're losing. You know, you're losing, but you're falling behind because of Vanbo. I would appreciate if you would move Van Bo. <laughs> I actually, I actually know kind of a cheat trick. If you set one of your riders to zero and just stop, you can't be able to take some of the other riders with you. And that's actually pretty lame, but it's actually pretty realistic too. So if you stop in a, ri a real cycling, you would take some of the other riders with you as well. But I don't think that should be possible because you can misuse that in online multiplayer. So. Yeah, that's just what I think. And over the top, nothing really interesting happened. I'm just getting Contador on the front. And on 80% so he doesn't lose any... Uh, any. Oh! No, Andy Slick's on plus 5 on the day. Andy Slick got a... Bit of a good day, I think. <laughs> the pack is increasing its work rate. Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway. Some teams ain't happy with the breakaway, dude. So where's Noval? Who's there? And now we hit a little bit, little mountains. What? I can't see any mountain there. Oh, it's a little hill. So who's gonna win today? That's the question. We now hit the last mountain, and this is gonna be very, very, very interesting because this is the first test of the GC contesters, and I am fucking scared now, to be honest, because I don't want to fail, and I want to win. Not, not the stage, but I want to win over Slick. And that goes Gadret. Oh, he still got some powers in him. So, we're now going uh -oh, into. Oh, the gap is widening. It's now more than two minutes. The peloton seems content to let it grow. The breakaway is not to everybody's liking. The peloton has significantly increased its speed. Now Gadret, Mugute, Tors. See what I mean? Spanish running riders is hard to pronounce. And Kuniko is trying to attack, but he's 11 minutes behind. I'm not gonna react on that because 11 minutes, he can't get 11 minutes of me when I'm having better stats than him. That's just my opinion. I, the the gameplay for today is like, not the gameplay, but the game plan is gonna attack 5 kilometers from the end. So, not gonna attack, but we're gonna put in some self effort in 85. That's like. It's like a bug in the game. The finish line is getting close. The rider is just past the 10 kilometers road sign. It's like a bug, bug in the game where he just... Again! An attack is launched! The group has to break apart! <laughs> I can't really speak, but it's like a bug in the game where it thinks he's accelerating, but he isn't really accelerating. Oh, you're falling behind. So, Chris Agassan, you need to step up your game today. I hope you can do it. Now Kunigo is trying to attack again, it seems like. Attack by Kunigo. So we're gonna just take it... Peace, uh, peace and quiet. <laughs> Just take it a bit relaxing. Viva la tour. Moncouchier. So. That's Evans. No, Monard. 
Oh, is he attack? Now I'm awake and I'm glad to see attack that. With the finishing line within reach. Come on, Contador. This is the fucking test we all waited for. At least I waited for it. So we're gonna just get some, get some, uh, what's called some. This is bad. Is that even? Guessing is off. We're guessing on this wheel. Holy cow, that was a fall. Oof. Oh, <laughs> I fought. I'm just reacting to all the breakaways now. They, they mustn't get away. No, Evans is attack. No, no, he's not. It seemed like he would attack. I just has to, uh, what's it called? Just has to get some stamina back now, to be ready to attack. With five kilometers left. So who's? So th the steps of this group is. Oh, Malama is up with us, and Giesink, Arario, and Kunig is back here. But where's Basu? Is here? Oh, and some of the big riders is behind now. That's not good for him. So six kilometers to the top. Because it all take your gel bar because you have to get some stamina up now. The red bar has to get higher so I can like put it on self effort. And is it gonna? Yeah, he got three minutes. Or they got three minutes. Couple and Peter Vill. No, Jürgen van den Broek. Oh, he's ten minutes behind. Good. Eight minutes. He's like one of the riders who can do damage on me, I think. So should we go for ourselves now or John Gardet actually just attacked from the Peloton and a funny story about him, he actually retired today or not retired, he announced his retirement and he pulled out from Tour of France and he has just had a bad Tour of France. He's I think he crashed like two or three times and he was a good rider but he chose to retire this year and I think he's actually thirty five years old or something like that. Or maybe to start to shoot, get some water. But yeah, that's a bit of a shame because there's not many good French GC con contesters, but he was one of them, so sad to see a good man retire. I'm really sorry if this is dragging on, but I really like this kind of stages in the Tour de France, so I really want to cover it all that I can, with the most power I can. Oh, Noval is finished for the day. Now it's... whose turn is it? It's Chris Angus Hansen's turn to protect Contador. Because I wanna I wanna spare the best rider to the last hill. Can Sunshine get in the front and not use too many powers, please? Please? Oh we caught Kareen no cost and loosely. So that little promenade is over. So now we only got two riders left that can do something because I actually lost with Porti, but No one knows of that <laughs> Oh wait a second guys. So three kilometers to the top. Can oh we who we could we're getting Anthony Ch Chateau that's neat but yeah I think we're gonna burn Nicky Sanderson on the way down and on the oh who's attacking Van Brook is attacking but he's eight minutes behind. There's a rider trying to break away from the bunch. Um Monkey is trying to but they're eight minutes behind so they have to get five minutes on me to do any harm so I, I wouldn't attack with him because they're not they're not hurting me at all and oh my God he's not having a good day. But I'm not There's an attack in the leading group. Was Some it? riders were not giving it their all and sharing the pace. Oh, monkey! I thought it was if, if it was like Angie Slag attacking on the on the top of the hill, and I wasn't awake. I was be like, ah, oh, not again! <laughs> because I did that once before, and I wouldn't pro I, w I, w I wasn't proud of it. I wasn't proud of it. So it's actually going uphill with 10%. That's hard. Come on, Contador, we can win today. It's in such percentages that the strongest can create some gaps. It's gonna be a hard, a hard win today because Andy Slick at this moment, guys. We're moving along at a fair lick. You've just gotta hang on. He got 88 in Mountain at the moment, and I got 83. So he's five on me, and that's not too good because I'm behind. And Pierre Roland is up here. That's that's good. <laughs> at least for Team Eureka. I really don't care, but let's go for Team Eureka. So now, oh, who's attacking now? Korean Kagan? Daniel Arroyo is attacking, and he's like, he's two places behind me, but he isn't. He he doesn't got the best stats, so I wouldn't really care. 
the only two riders that I'm take them on by himself. <laughs> the only two riders that I'm really concerned about is maybe Andy Slick and no, not even Barso. So Kyle Evans and even Barso maybe. I haven't really seen that much from even Barso, but I know he can. So we're get, gonna get the last water, and that's gonna be Jesus Hernandez before he falls behind the peloton. Now these can take their water too, but they're not on the top. Oh my God, it's gonna be a long day for Tosato. And for Bjorn. Oh my God, I I think he's gonna he's gonna abandon. I wanna bet that. The riders must be careful. This downhill is known to be very dangerous. And don't crash, please. So I'm gonna come back with the style of this mountain. And not this mountain. Luis Adidin. Just a little informa information guys. I actually think the breakaway is gonna win this because look at this. Wait. Fabian Cancellara, our group, got twenty seconds up to the Royal. He's not he's not gonna win. Then we got forty seconds up to Karienka, that's one minute. Then we got two men uh, one minute up to Molema and Van Brook, then we got two minutes up to Peter Village and one minute up to Cobble. So they're gonna take like around five minutes the guys in front three minutes on us so it's not gonna be a win for us today but I'm really not the guy who goes for the win but and I'm, I'm more like I wanna get time and then get in the 10 first places but that's why I don't like career mode that much because they only f they only focused on wins they not they're not focused on time difference yeah and we are now close to the to the last here I'm gonna come back in five kilometers we now hit the last mountain and this is going to be very 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 interesting because this is the first test of the GC contesters and I am fucking scared now to be honest because I don't want to fail and I want to win not not the stage but I want to win over Slick and that goes Gadret oh he still got some powers in him so we're now going uh -oh, in the... Oh, the gap is widening. It's now more than two minutes. The peloton seems content to let it grow. The breakaway is not to everybody's liking. The peloton has significantly increased its speed. Now, good dead. Mokute. Turs. See what I mean? Spanish running riders is hard to pronounce. And Kunigo is trying to attack, but he's 11 minutes behind. I'm not going to react on that, because 11 minutes... He can't get 11 minutes of me when I'm having better stats than him. That's just my opinion. And... The the gameplay for today is like not the gameplay, but the game plan is gonna attack five kilometers from the end. So not gonna attack, but we are gonna put in some self effort in eighty five. That's like it's like a bug in the game. The finish line is getting close. The rider is just past the ten kilometers road sign. It's like a bug bug in the game where he just again an attack is launched. The group has to break apart. <laughs> I can't really speak, but it's like a bug in the game where. It thinks he's accelerating, but he isn't really accelerating. Oh, you're falling behind. So, Chris Anderson, you need to step up your game today. I hope you can do it. Now Kunigo is trying to attack again, it seems like. Attack by Kunigo. So we're gonna just take it... Peace, uh, peace and quiet. <laughs> just take it a bit relaxing. Viva Counter la tour. Attack by Moncouchier. Moncouchier. So, that's Evans. No, more not. Oh, is he attack? <laughs> now I'm awake and I'm glad to attack see that. Attack with the finishing line within reach! Come on, Contador! This is the fucking test we all waited for. At least I waited for it. So we're gonna... Just get some... Get some, uh, what's it called? Some... This is bad. Is that even? Guessing is off. We're guessing on this wheel. Holy cow! That was a fall. Oof. Oh, I fall. I'm just reacting to all the breakaways now. They, they mustn't get away. No, Evans is attack. No, no, he's not. It seemed like he would attack. I just has to, uh, what's it called? Just has to get some stamina back now, to be ready to attack. With five kilometers left. So who's, so the stats of this group is oh Malama is up with us and Gia saying, Arroyo and Kunig is back here, but where's Basso is here? Oh, some of the big riders is behind now. That's not good for him. 
So, six kilometers to the top. Because it don't take your gel bar, because you have to get some stamina up now. The red bar has to get higher, so I can, like, put it on self-effort. And is it gonna... Yeah, he got three minutes. Or they got three minutes. Couple and Peter Vill... No. Jürgen van den Broek! Oh, he's ten minutes behind. Good. Eight minutes. He's, like, one of the riders who can do damage on me, I think. So, should we go for ourselves now, or is that... A little bit way out. Oh my, the guys up front aren't going to be making too many friends today. I'm gonna go for it, guys. Because I have to be aggressive. Can Contador go on his own? Come on, Contador. I'm gonna attack. I need... I need this one. No, no, the favorite is giving an inch. Okay, now we have to... I don't want to lose time either. We got 10 seconds at this moment. Okay, relax. That was stupid, but at least This win is well deserved. He displayed a tremendous tenacity. We didn't get time at all. Get it on get on his wheel. No. Any slick can win time on us in the sprint. Yeah, he can. Yeah, he can. No, seriously. How can he have such a good acceleration? This is just stupid. This is goddamn stupid. I played this five times before... Before today, and I just put it on self-effort, and I got away from the peloton. I, but at this moment, he wouldn't let me. We're waiting for the tail-enders who continue to arrive. I'm just... Excited to see if Brian Vampo gets over the line at all because his green spot is almost gone and that means he's gonna abandon. So is he is he gonna abandon? No, but he's almost <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, he's over the line now. That's a good thing. And Tusatu isn't over the line yet. But these guys, if all these guys withdraw, that would be pretty bad for them all because Ignatiev is down here and Benshaw and Tapstra that, that, should, that should be like at least one hour time limit or something like that but I can't believe that Andy Schleck got 20 seconds on me again maybe hard hard difficulty is a bit too hard on me but oh my freaking god Andy Schleck got 20 seconds and why why did I attack but at least I had to try because I thought his uh, acceleration would be better, but apparently and it wasn't. Here are a few of the key moments. So Jürgen van der Broek got around two or three minutes on us, but he's still five mi five minutes behind. So we lost 17 seconds to Irish leg, but we gained around one minute on even Basso and all the other guys. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be bad if we got like a second or third place either because I'm I'm not so good at this game. That's the overall mountain. Oh <laughs> I accidentally skipped the yellow jersey. That's bad. Then it, it builds up some attention. <laughs> not some att we actually <laughs> we actually close to being we are actually in the top ten, even though we lost two of our riders. So we lost seven seventeen seconds, so now we are Around three minutes behind. Now we got to catch two minutes. Now I need to get one minute and ninety four seconds. How can I get that with? Oh, but uh, we only one minute behind Cat Elevens, and no, we're two uh, one minute actually under one minute. So that's not too bad either. Him can we get time on, but not. And his leg is just, he has a better day than me. This stage is not going to be win by, won by Contador and gain time at all. This stage is. But, sorry to say, but this stage was a fail. 